Three to succeed. Raid Shadow Legends. Update edition. New skins edition, finally. And, uh... You know what? Let, let, win some gems edition. Put your UM code in the comments. Uh, today will be the day. We're, we're, we're pushing it to the end, so... Drop, uh, drop your UM code in the comments. Ten of you will win gems. Five of you will win gems, an epic book, and a void shard. And five of you will just win gems. Um, so just leave your UM codes below. And uh, I don't know, leave a little comment with it. And I think rather than randomly do it, I'll pick, I'll pick my favorite comments. So whatever that means, whatever that means to you, leave me an interesting comment, a funny comment, whatever. I'll pick my ten favorites. And I'll turn them in. And that'll be that. Okay. Let's do that. I'm I'm excited about this, man. Uh, for any of you, for the for the three of you maybe that have been watching me since I started making content on Red, you know this is something I've talked about a lot, uh, especially way back in the day. I've always been excited at the prospect of, of Plarium getting around to this because I knew it was coming because all these games do this. And it's, I'm, I've always been surprised they didn't do it sooner because it's basically a free money button, right? Your art team apparently loves what they do. They like to work. Uh, so let them work and make that money. That was always my thought um, on it. And uh, they're finally getting around to it. So I'm really, really excited to see where this all goes, which champs they do next and um, all that. Dude, this is the type of thing that I think I might... Like, th this is going to be where it sucks to be free to play on this account because I'm probably going to want to buy some of these skins. Um... <laughs> But you know, what are, what are you gonna do? So let's see. Let's 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 look through these notes real quick and see what we got going on before we get to the gameplay for today. Um, added champion skins. Your Carl's in the shop now, and he's and he got buffed. Champion skins. Let you alter your champ's appearance. Something that suits your style and preference. Right, right, right. So there's three rarities of skins. Interesting. There's classic, heroic, and iconic. Classic skins are the standard skin that every champion has when you first summon them. It's their classic look, and we don't think they'll ever go out of fashion. Heroic skins can be attained through events, tournaments, the clan shop, and through other in-game activities. Iconic skins are the rarest in the game, and for the time being will be obtained from special limited offers at the shop. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with that at all, honestly. I'm, I'm fine with some being behind a paywall and some not. I'm, I'm glad that it's not exclusively behind a paywall. Theoretically, anyway. We'll see what kinds of in-game activities it's, they're available from and how obtainable they really are. But theoretically, I'm, I'm fine with that. Just like with champions, you'll be able to collect skin fragments. Okay, nice. Even receiving a new skin in the first place is a privilege. Not every champion will receive. We'll be adding more skins over time, but the first lucky champion to receive new kind of paint is Arbiter. Okay. The Dark Fallen skin will be available as fragments from the clan shop starting March 29th. Okay, Dark Fallen. I think that was my third favorite of the three. <laughs> Dead coming, bro. Jade Serpent was my favorite. Lumaya's Prophet was my second favorite. Dark Fallen was my third favorite. And not to say I don't like Dark Fallen, but kind of unfortunate that my least favorite is the one I'm going to be able to get. You won't lose a skin if you sacrifice your only copy of a champion you've collected a skin for. Okay, that's, that's good. You can use the same skin on each duplicate of your copies. Okay, nice. I wanna see what these skins look like right now. Just hit the champion index, find Arbiter, and take a look for yourself. Oh, we gotta go do that. We gotta go see him live. Chaos Ore, champion fragments. Nice, that's a good change. Adding Chaos Ore to the clan shop is such a good change. Including skill tomes, nice. And the new artifacts that look pretty dope. Carl won't play Sienica. Good, I'm glad, because I don't, okay, good, good. Skill, oh yeah, they did the AI update too. You can change your your um, AI for each wave now. So that's pretty nice. Interesting, it's gonna be interesting to see if that messes up anyone's AI though, like, like how they fix Cold Heart so she won't heart seek her into the King uh, Fire Knight's shield. I wonder if she still like that by default, you know? Super raids and faction wars. Nice. Nice. That's a good change. Step in the right direction, anyway. 
multi battle mode in faction wars as well. Man, what a good change! They did they did a good job on this update, man. Making it so you can get 18 keys at once. So you can collect your six keys from advanced quest. Good change, man. That's a good quality of life change. All right, let's let's see. Your crawl got buffed. We'll take a look at that later when it when it matters to us. Cleo, <clears throat> this matters to us. So skill two, her damage multipliers increased, and an effect added 30% crit damage buff on the champ for two turns. Hmm, doesn't seem like they did much to her. I'm, I'm happy about this too. You know, I love me. I've always loved me some Scar Torsus. Um, and I think he got better after the AI update because you could program him to do same things because his AI was not did not prior to prioritize the right things. So now they're buffing him again. So let's see. Rebirth from five to four turns. That's pretty big. Change the order of actions in the skill. This was another one of my big complaints with him that he healed and then removed buffs. So now he removes buffs, or I'm sorry, debuffs, and then heals. Wait a minute. New version. Oh, this is just the new wording, I think. They're, they're, they're saying what they did, and then this is the actual wording. Okay. I was going to say, I was pretty sure he healed first and then removed debuffs. So that's nice. Okay. Yeah, I see you right there. Okay, okay. And then rebirth. Removes and heal. It feels like terminated. Moves healed. Number of debuffs. The amount of term meters filled. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> So yeah, Skartorius is getting that cooldown is pretty nice, actually. Pretty nice. Skartorius is pretty solid now. Seems like a very good update. Honestly, all around seems like a very good update. Let, let's snoop around a little bit and see what we got going on. Not in there yet. Not sure what to make of that. <laughs> um, also, I wonder what level he'll be available to. That's an interesting thought. Maybe. Why isn't he in here? Maybe I have to restart the game? Seems odd. I would have to restart the game, but. Nice. This looks good. This looks good. All right. Yeah, like I said, uh, it's not that I don't like the skin. It's a dope skin still. But I mean, when you see these other two, if you haven't seen them yet, dude, I mean, look at that. That is sick. That is really dope. And then this one right here is my favorite. I'm so excited to see how this develops, man. I'm so excited to see who they, who all they do this to. There's so there's so many ways to go with it too. You can you can do like this opens up so much for Halloween. Uh, they can do like Summoner's War was big on like, which is like obviously a cash grab, but they had a lot of like like beach wear, which I mean for raid you know people are gonna love that. Um, and then there's some that completely change the way the character looks. Like it's not just their outfit that changed their whole their whole thing changes. So. Um, I'm really, really excited to see how much this develops. If they just keep doing like skin changes like that, or if, if anybody kind of transforms with any of these as, as time goes on. I'm, I'm, I'm stoked, man. I'm really excited. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. We did a little bit more champ training last night, but like I said, we are not gonna, probably not gonna be in a place to compete. I'm so glad I did my Hydra yesterday, because I almost didn't. I think I thought I think I thought I had missed it for the week. So I thought I thought we got rewards on Tuesday. I'm really glad I went ahead and I was like, you know what, I'll just get it out of the way for next week now. That's not bad actually. Didn't I get I didn't get two chests. I thought I got two chests. Whatever. I 
feel like they love giving me HP percentage chest and cruel. I feel like I see that a lot. Witch Heart's nice. I was gonna say, not a killer day, but I've got no room to complain about <laughs> Clan Boss chests for a little bit. They've been, they've been real good to me lately. <laughs> Must be because Plarium buffs my account because I'm a content creator. <laughs> Is the conspiracy theory I'm seeing a lot in chat lately. Or not chat, in the comments, rather. <clears throat> All right. We wanted to go look. We we have Scar Tauruses, right? Yeah. I'm clicking it, dude. So this gets up to 50% with books. Removes all debuffs, then heals him and fills a turn. Okay. I feel like this wording being different does matter, actually, now that I'm reading it again. It seems like... I feel like before, the total healing and turn meter increase was due to the amount of debuffs removed, and now I think it's it's ally-specific. Right? So, like, if one, if one ally has five debuffs, they get more healing and turn meter than someone who had one. I think is what that means now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's pretty standard. It's not a ton of bugs. I still haven't six starred anyone yet, by the way. Having a hard time deciding who I want who I want to be. Uh, we did. Or at least I was going to. Did I do it yet? I think I was going to. And I didn't get to it yet. I'm going to five star a Veer. I got to make one more four star for him though. I'm going to five star him and level him up. And then see if I can't clear dwarves that way. Because the rest of my dwarves faction team is pretty solid. I'll double check everyone's gear here to make sure they're good. I feel like what's probably happening is he's dying. What I could do, before I five star him though, I could just bring Melga up. Isn't she a pretty decent reviver? Let me go look at Melga real quick. Maybe I just bring up Melga. And if she's got any, any decent kind of support, we, we work her in. Hey, it's not doing it today, good. Where's Melga? Sounds like a sounds like a like a dollar store dollar store version of where's Waldo. <laughs> Have you seen Melga? All right. Removes a debuff from an ally when she A1s. Shield on all allies and continuous heal on all allies. You can get that down to a three turn, okay. And then revives. And you can get that down to five turns. And she doesn't need a ton of, well, yeah, she does, because of that. Meanwhile, Avir is bringing what? He's bringing a poison on his A1. Decrease attack and a decrease speed. And turn meter boost and a heal. And then the rest of the team was Tormund, who I know is geared. Mountain King, who I know is geared. And then... Who else was on that team? <laughs> Rear guard. Who I could probably ascend further at this point. Relatively comfortably. 
Where's the other dwarf I'm missing, dude? Tormund, Mountain King, Rearguard, Avere. It has to be someone up here, right? What is happening right now? Geomancer, okay. <clears throat> Yeah, we'll send her. Why not? Getting some accessories on her would probably be pretty helpful anyway. Put a better ring on you too. What am I doing? Why am I treating you so bad? What's your A1? Let's do... Find you a good ring here. That'll probably work. And then an amulet. This'll work. It ain't gotta be nothing crazy good, right? And then I feel like I do want her to have some accuracy. But right? Yeah, I probably want to have a little more accuracy. Wouldn't hate her having some speed, too, though. Do I have that to give her? Possibly there. How many epic books we got for? Got plenty of epic books, and she only needs two more to be done. Let's finish her up. <clears throat> okay. Let's watch a run real quick and see where it's falling apart. I feel like it's got to be that Avere is going down, and then and then I guess I guess we have no support after that. I feel like this what defense isn't doing me any good there. Let's do that. Right, because he ignores, this one ignores defense, right? Okay, so let's let's just watch a run and see where it's going wrong. Yeah, I guess we get you out of here, huh? There you go. <clears throat> so yeah, Avir goes down quick, and then... I can't remember. I think she might play some continuous heals occasionally, but I think that leaves us without much healing. And then, so I think we kind of just slowly get withered down. So would maybe maybe getting a veer to five star would prevent that, or I just I just build Melga, who scales on HP anyway. I could make her really tanky, and probably be fine. This is such an annoying wave, dude. Especially, it's, it's really not a great way for Tormund to land nothing on either one of these two. I 
I know that there's no shot of freestyle. I'm, I'm letting it go on because I want to see. I just want to see like where exactly the run falls apart. It's so annoying, dude. Did he not get block debuffs on himself? That always been like that? I would have sworn he used to put up block debuffs too. Is, is this like the unascended version of him or something? Maybe that's the ascended version of the skill. <clears throat> Siphon all you want, Pimpin. Get that unkillable off quicker. Okay, so this boss is. Ignore defense. Yeah. Yeah, okay. There's no minions here either, huh? heels for us. There you go. Okay. Ooh, that sucked. So we're real close. I think we, if we have one more good support in here that can take a hit, I think this happens. Because we're really not that far off. <clears throat> And that's full auto. That's not even me trying. So I think I think I probably have a little more faith in keeping Melga alive than I do Avir. So I think I'll probably just bring her up today and probably knock this out. We'll, we'll, we'll see tomorrow if it happens. But I reckon I reckon she'd be sufficient at five star too. Um, yeah, I mean, real close with four. So we're gonna we're gonna I think we're gonna five star Melga today, dump some resources in her, and probably go in there and knock that out. So um, that'll be the plan. I'll let you guys know how it goes tomorrow. And we need to wrap this one up because this video is getting long. So uh, that's it, man. Appreciate y'all watching. Let me know what you think about the update. Pretty good update, right? You excited about the skins? Let me know some champs you happen to see. Um, I can't even. I'm, I'm a, I'd be excited about any of it, man. Literally anybody on anybody that I have. I'd be stoked about, so, um, and anybody that I don't have even, so that's it, man, we'll, uh, we'll wrap it up here, I don't think I have anything else to say, have a good one.